Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to climb up and down a ladder using blueprints. So what you're going to want to do first is import a ladder static mesh. This is just a very very quick one that I've made so it doesn't look that good and it's untextured. This is just to get the job done. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder. So in content, right click, new folder. I'm just going to call this ladder. Obviously put this wherever you want and name it wherever you want but just drag and drop this in your ladder static mesh. So just keep all this like that import all and there you are you know have it imported so obviously you've got all the different materials as well I'll just put those into a different folder for the time being because all I need is just this very rough ladder so then what you want to do once you've got that is actually create the ladder blueprint and to do that we just right click go to blueprint class get an actor I'm just going to call this ladder underscore BP like that and then we're just going to want to open this up straight away and then what we do is on the top left here we've got add component add static mesh get the bottom on there static mesh and this we're going to make our ladder so then over the right here under static mesh just select the ladder you've just imported so mine looks something like this like I say it's very quick and also what we're going to do is add a box collision like so and then we we'll just put this so it's only at the front of the ladder so you can only climb when you're in front of the ladder and then make it a bit smaller like that and then increase it to the size that we need it to be so I think that will be good for me and then we're also going to just make an arrow as well so get an arrow like that and this just shows where the front of the ladder is so this only shows up for us not in game this just means we know where the front ladder is so where the player can climb so if we compile that and I go to the event graph and then we'll just delete these like so and then we'll right click and get event on actor begin overlap so event actor begin overlap like so and then we'll also get event actor end overlap as well and then for the other actor of both of these we're going to want to cast to our character so mine is the third person character this could be first person or just whatever you have the character named as so make sure that goes into the other actor of both of those and then what we're going to do next is open up our player blueprint so what we've casted to is the third person for me so i'm going to open up the third person character so that is third person bp blueprints third person character and then straight away we're going to create a new variable and call this on ladder which again obviously means if the player is on the ladder or not and once again by default this is false so then up over here where you have the movement input we're going to go over to this and get the input axes move forward and also move right and we'll just move both of those over and then we'll alt right click on the little white line to disconnect those like so and what we're going to do first is actually off the move forward we'll come up here and we'll get a branch and we want the condition to be on ladder question mark so we'll just drag and drop that in there so this is checking to see if the player is on the ladder and off of false we're just going to go back into the normal add movement input here so what it is by default then off of true we want to create a different movement input where we can fly and we're only going up or down so what we're going to do is up here we're going to right click and get player character and then off of the return value for that what we're going to do is get actor up vector like so move those over a little bit and what we're also going to do is get the character movement up here so drag and drop that in there get character movement and off of this we're going to drag off and set movement mode like so plug that into true let's move this up a bit like that and what we want the new movement mode to be is flying so again this means you can then leave the ground and go up down however you like and at the end of this we're going to want to add movement input again like this so add movement input that goes into there the world direction is the get actor up vector there the scale value will be the axis value down here off the move forward input axes and that's that part now done and so this means that you can then go up and down the ladder but we want to make sure that you can't go left or right so down here on the move right we're going to come off and get another branch with condition again being on ladder question mark so drag that down like that on ladder and then we're just going to come off with false and go into add movement input so if you're not on the ladder you can move left or right and if you are you can't do anything so then let's compile that and go back to the ladder blueprint so then off of these again where we have the cast third person character for the begin overlap here so the top one after the cast what we want to do is add third person character set on ladder to true so plug that in like that and then set it to true so tick it and then we just want to set it when you come off the ladder so end overlap we're going to set it again but this time set it to false and then we're also going to set the movement mode back to walking so again as third person character set movement mode character movement like that and then we'll just set it to walking again so it goes back to normal 
Yeah, so sorry for the begin and end overlap. I actually chose the wrong one. So we need to go back, event, begin, overlap. I chose just normal collision. We need it for the collision box. So if we select the box here and right click, begin, overlap, we can now get one for the collision box itself like that, which is what we actually need. So we'll move these over and put that in there. And it's just the same thing, it goes into other actor. But what we did originally was we set it to overlap only the ladder, not the collision box itself. So we'll do that and then select it again and end overlap like so. Plug that in and then again, other actor like so. So if we hit compile, save this and then minimize it, what we can do is drag this ladder into the world. So if we go find it in the folder we made, so ladder, drag in our ladder blueprint like that, we can see that we have the ladder there and the box collision and also the arrow showing us which way it's forward. So now you can see this isn't quite big enough to reach up there. So I made it quite small in Blender. So I'm also just going to put it next to the player to get a reference of scale to see how big I want it to be. So I think that big will be quite good. So I'll move it back into the position I want it in. So I'll just put it over here and then we'll make it so it's just high enough to climb up above onto the ledge here. So I think that works out perfectly actually. Now if I hit play, we have that in, we can walk over to the ladder and we can climb up it like that. So you see, when we're not on the ladder, we can move about normally. When we're on the ladder, we can move up and down, but we can't move left and right. So if we try that again, we can just walk straight up the ladder like that. And then if we make it a bit bigger, so taller, you can see it works a lot better. And just make it all completely bigger, because I haven't set it up to be a proper mesh, which works looks better, but you can climb up and down the ladder. Obviously you want to add a different animation for climbing up and down, but that looks good and it works. The functionality behind it works. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. We've set it up so that if we walk up to the ladder, we can then climb up and down it very easily. And we can't move left or right when we're on it. So it works perfectly like that. And again, you want to add your own animation, sound effects, and probably a different ladder mesh like that but this all functionally works perfectly. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. It helps me in the channel out a lot. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.